So you knew. Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... The me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. Liar. He's trying to keep us from worrying. Just like Naomi. All right. We should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes. I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. Again, this term, design children... I know I've heard it somewhere before. It was when I regained a memory of Mother. Yes. She said I was... made. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? I yes All right, I guess we should explain what we've been told. Who should I talk to first?
It may be hard to believe, but apparently our ancestors moved here from the moon 2,000 years ago. Apparently, human beings colonized the moon over 3,000 years ago because the Earth's environment wasn't livable anymore. It's so long ago, it feels like a fairy tale. It was after the first colonists from the moon arrived on Earth that the extinction belt suddenly appeared. Because of its appearance, they were no longer able to contact the government on the moon. So, I guess it's safe to assume that there are people on the moon too? The first colonists from the moon were led by Yakumo Sumeragi. What they established on Earth later became known as New Himuka. It's hard to believe, I know. The people who colonized the moon began a major cleanup effort to save the polluted Earth and make it habitable again. They spent nearly a thousand years on the project. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep. Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth, and then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything. But it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. So they got to thinking. What can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time, with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time, so future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous! I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the red strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. 
That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagura, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi? Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon too. And then figure out what we can do knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do, but it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to New Himuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. Ugh, <sighs> what an exhausting day. Way too much happened. You don't get to say that! At least you already knew about the moon and Togetsu's plan. I'm sorry. Look, let's not start pointing fingers. We should sit down and try to process what we learned. I agree. We've been in the dark all this time, but not anymore. That's right. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu. Kyoka, Kagero, you both all right with that? Yes, of course. This is what I want, to be with all of you. So wait, you decided to trust me? Shiden, you're so sweet. You're making me regret it talking like that. Are you blushing? Dang it, you caught me. You know, kids wouldn't talk to adults like that back in my day. I swear I'll never betray you. If I did, these last 2,000 years would be for nothing. Then let's set out for Seiron after we get some rest. I'm glad Yuito trusted us. He's such a kid, though. I can't tell if he's honest, a sucker, or just too nice. Yes, you're right. But that might be what makes him strong. You don't remember being in Togetsu at all, Kasane? No. I only remember bits and pieces. Did you know me then? No, I didn't. I'm sorry I didn't tell you anything. You look so relieved, Major. 
Your beauty just shines through. There's a weight off my chest now that I told you everything. What about you? Me? Can't you tell? I'm so refreshed from talking that I'm 50% more fresh-faced. I see. Good taste. Just looking at you makes me angry. I don't remember doing anything to you. I'm not saying you did something wrong. I'm mad at myself for being overtaken by someone like you. Watch out. I'm not the kind of person who gives up so easily. You're someone I can rely on in battle. You know, your personality aside and all. Is that supposed to be a compliment? I'll return the same. Be good to talk to Arashi. You know what I like. Thanks.
Hey, Kasane, you free right now? I guess so. What is it this time? You remember my promise from before, right? A fun and exciting date with your one and only Daddy Kagero. You're not my father, and I'm not interested in a date. What? You told me the last one was super boring. You shattered my fragile heart into itty bitty pieces. You're still bothered by that? Fine, I'll say it was fun. No, no, that's not what I mean. I want to make up for it. Besides, you know how I hid my past? I wanted to apologize for that. So this is like a second chance coupled with an apology. The apology is fine, but I don't know why it has to be with a date. It's like my dream, I guess? Just say yes, please. Let me show you a good time you won't forget. So, how was it? The dining experience at Baki's Cafe is supposed to be very popular with high school girls. I think Naomi and Yuito would have enjoyed it more, but it was fun. No complaints here. Next up is dessert. I'll get you anything you want. Cake? Parfait, maybe? I'm fine with just tea. <laughs> I figured you'd say that. Already got a cup. Wait, when did you... Oh, you used your invisibility power. That's an interesting use for it. You can't just reveal my secret like that. Even if you know how it's done, it's more fun when you pretend you don't. Like this. I grew this flower from a seed. The flower symbolizes hidden kindness. A perfect match for you. So, what do you think so far? Well, you seem to be following the standard dating norms I read in magazines, but they all have a nice Kagero twist. However, something's bothering me. You've gone through a lot of effort just to make up for lying. You're either really perceptive or overly distrusting. But yeah, I guess it's time I tell you. The truth is, I tried to assassinate you back in the day, so that's kind of included in this apology. Assassinate? Hmm. From the looks of it, you haven't realized it at all. Guess that means I still got it. Fortunately, I didn't have to go through with it, but I was waiting for the right opportunity. Like trying to be alone with you. As the one you were targeting, I believe I have a right to know why. It was to stop Togetsu's plan. Their plan hinged on your power, so I thought that killing you might be the best option left for me. Of course, now that you've decided not to support them, I've got no reason to hurt you. You can trust me on that. Well, I don't doubt that, but I'm still not satisfied. What, really? I guess this wouldn't be enough to make up for trying to kill you. I could do something even... It's not that. It's just... killing someone. Is it that easy for you to do? I don't understand how you could make that decision so easily. Even if it is to achieve your goal. There's no way I could do that. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. I mean, it's not like I don't value life or anything like that. But yeah... If I seem cynical about it, it's probably because I don't feel like I'm very... alive, I guess you could say. I'm like a ghost from the past, existing in a time when his family and everyone he knew is long gone. Your family? You mentioned you left them on the moon. Yeah, I had a wife and daughter. My daughter was simply the cutest. You'd be surprised she was related to me. She didn't have a bad bone in her body. I loved her dearly, and she meant so much to me. But in the end, I couldn't do anything for her as a father. What's even more sad is that I've got no idea what kind of person she grew up to be. I mean, really, could I be a worse father? That's why, at the very least, I want to protect the life she lived. I'll do whatever it takes, even if it means turning against my homeland. I might even kill if it comes down to it. How about we leave this off here? I think you've heard enough. All right. So, what did you think of Daddy Kagero's date? Pretty awesome, right? Yes, I would say it was worthwhile. I think I learned a little about who you are. 
Ah, you finally realized what a wonderful, charming person I am. Oh, I'm such a heartbreaker. Although, I still don't know how serious you are because you always joke around. You know, I don't really know either. Huh? Just kidding. Sorry to make you help me fulfill my dreams today. See you later. I wonder what he meant by that. I feel like I got to know him a little better. But trying to understand other people isn't that easy. There's a rumor lately that I've been using my power to spy on people. I would never do that, you know? I mean, I can't say I haven't thought about it. Do I look desperate enough to spy on people? It's because you're always so thoughtless, but I know you're not like that. Oh, thanks. That's my Kasane. I like that you're always so cool-headed.
What? You wanted to get closer to me? Aw, oh, shucks. <sighs> I guess I would like to understand you better. Kasane, do you remember when I said I wanted you to help me with a job? For payment of the rations that you treated me to. Yeah, I'm going to cash that in now. Don't worry, the job will be worth your time. What are all these? Looks like empty bottles, junk parts, candy wrappers... And they're all mixed together. Exactly. I need you to sort them. Why do you have so much? I kind of got lazy and didn't get around to cleaning them up. Oh, yeah, take care of this trash bag for me, too. Don't throw it. You got trash everywhere again. Hmm? Now what could this be? You don't see that many handwritten letters anymore. How interesting. Oh, that. You can throw that out, too. But it's unopened. Let's see. It's from Major General Fubuki. What if it's important? Are you sure you don't want to check it? Then he would have messaged me instead of using this archaic method. If you're that curious, be my guest and read it. Don't mind if I do. You didn't even hesitate. So, anything surprising? No. Basically, he's filling you in on what he's been up to. Also, he says not to drink too much soda. I thought so. He sends me letters filled with stuff that doesn't matter. I don't get it at all. I would reply to a message, but a letter? Just opening it is a pain. If he's going through the trouble of handwriting a letter, don't you think it means there's something special he's trying to get across? If that's the case, then you should really cherish these. You never know what could happen to us next. Look, it's not that I don't understand what you're saying, but these letters have been piling up, and just finding a place to keep them is a pain. Besides, just getting the letter lets me know that he's doing okay. So you can throw this in the trash. Fubuki and I aren't like you sisters. You're awfully stubborn. Exactly. You're a perceptive one. She's so very different from me and Naomi. Especially how little she seems to care about her brother. Still... Arashi, remember the Major General Fubuki you saw in the future? Yeah, what about him? You were angry, weren't you? I mean, you saw it with your own eyes. You keep saying that you're not those kinds of siblings, but it doesn't feel that way to me. So why... I mean, of course I'd get mad if he died. I feel like human emotion is a strange mechanism. Really? More importantly, Kasane, I don't see your hands sorting through the trash. Huh? That was a good distraction, but you're not getting out of your work. I wasn't trying to get out of it. I'm not like you. Great. Then good luck here. I'll be busy skipping out on my own work. Have fun. Looks like she dodged my question. I've been in the OSF a long time, and a rookie as good as you is a rare thing. You mean a rookie who's easy to give your work to? I can't just give my work to anyone. I chose you because I know you can handle it. Also, because I trust you personally, even outside of work. So, I'll trust you to keep working as an extension of myself. Intriguing. I'm discovering more and more of your good qualities. I am? Well, I guess getting to know someone isn't a bad thing.
Gamma. I'm sorry to bother you about this, Kasane. It's fine. I wanted to talk to you too, to apologize. Why? I'm the one who should say sorry. You don't have any reason to apologize to me. I just dumped all my feelings on you without any regard for yours. If I'm being honest, I still don't think I completely understand how you feel right now. However, after everything I've experienced lately, I think I can imagine it a little. Did something happen? You really felt like you wanted to die? Not me, Naomi. She said that she didn't want to live anymore. She didn't want to live as an other, her sanity being maintained with medicine made of human brains. She said that? I didn't understand her at the time. I wanted her to live no matter what it meant, but now I partly understand where she's coming from. That feeling that makes you want to run away from life when things are so incredibly hard and painful. If that's what you were feeling, then I realized I didn't have any right to complain to you. Thank you for understanding. Let me just say it again. I shouldn't have unloaded my feelings of self-pity on you. I'm old enough to know better. So I brought you something as a token of apology. Is that a packed lunch? Yeah, they're all from the recipes Naomi gave me. I don't know if you're hungry or not, but maybe you'd be willing to give them a taste. Thank you. I wanted to taste what her recipes were like. This is stir-fried mackerel and green peppers. This is vegetable namol, and that's shredded meat. Wow, you really went all out. I'm still learning, so I've burnt some of them. It may not look appetizing, but it should still be edible. I'll take this then. Not bad. It does remind me of my sister's cooking a little. Really? Yes. It doesn't even come close to the real thing, though. I see. But getting you to say that it reminds you of it is still an accomplishment. It's fairly good and a little familiar. It must have taken you a while to make all of this. It wasn't a big deal. Cooking helps calm me. It's perfect for self-reflection. You think so? Yes, although I used to think it was a waste of time. I thought about what you said while I cooked. Which part? I think I said a lot the last time we talked. About how I wanted to roll over and die, and how that was selfish. It really hit me hard, thinking how much Naomi wants to live in her original body. And about how much all my friends who died in battle would have wanted to live. It made me realize that wasting whatever life I have left was disrespecting their memory. Part of me thinks you're taking it a little too seriously. But I'm glad I got through to you. I might be too serious. But I plan to live the rest of my life to its fullest. How? First thing is to get back to eating healthy with Naomi's recipes. I also want to reevaluate the way I spend my weekends. Maybe find a new hobby besides cooking. Sounds like a good idea. And I'm sure your cooking will get better with practice. Then I guess I'll keep at it. Would you mind tasting more of my food sometime? Of course. Thanks. I still have trouble figuring out what's good or bad since I've never been concerned about how my cooking tasted before. You seem like you're enjoying it. I am, although it stresses me out while I'm doing it. Well, maybe I enjoy that part too. He looks so alive. Maybe he started to feel more positive about his life.
sorry to keep you waiting. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Oh, Kasane. Oh. What is it? N nothing But you just look like you noticed something. Did you see something with your clairvoyance? <sighs> well, I won't pry if it's uncomfortable for you to share. Um... Yes? Your left knee. My left knee? You may not have noticed, but there's a bruise. You might have hit it during a fight. Oh, now that you mention it, I did hit it in my last fight. I think you should get that treated. The bone isn't hurt, but it might leave a mark. Good idea. I'll get it looked at when I get back to the hideout. I'm surprised you noticed. I had a feeling you were subconsciously favoring your left leg when you were walking over here. I was worried, so I couldn't help but use my power. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Why are you apologizing? I should be thanking you for telling me about my injury. Because I violated your privacy by looking under your clothes. It's not good to use my power without permission like that. Ah, I see. That's why you felt uncomfortable telling me. I suppose that would be the general consensus. Some things are off limits. I'm not a child anymore, but I'm still doing the same stuff as back then. Did something happen when you were younger? Yes. I didn't realize back then that what I can see isn't something I necessarily should see. When I told people what I saw, they would get uncomfortable and sometimes get scared of me. I finally realized that I shouldn't be doing things like that, that looking underneath someone's clothes or inside their home was bad. Is it really so bad? What? I mean... Nobody wants to have their secrets revealed. You wouldn't like that, would you? To be honest, that wouldn't really bother me. Really? Yeah, I don't have any secrets. People can look all they want. Are you saying you can see inside people's bodies too? Yes. It can be a little revolting if you're not used to it. Then not only can you see injuries, you can detect internal diseases early as well. That means your power can save lives. It's fascinating. There really aren't many that can do that. I think it's a wonderful power. Uh, you're the first person other than Kagura to say that. That's surprising. I thought the OSF would evaluate your effectiveness quite highly. They tell me it's effective in battle, but my power hasn't often been noted for its everyday uses. I've been mindful in trying to avoid seeing things, or not talk about it if I do see something. It's a strange feeling being told I can look. It does take a weight off my shoulders, though. Well, that's good. Yes. Thanks, Kasane. Thank you for finding my injury. By the way, didn't you have something you wanted to discuss? Oh. We can talk about that some other time. Really? I still have time now. It's okay, really. I'll talk to you about it the next time I see you. Sure. See you then. She seems to have a lot on her mind. I can't help but be a little concerned. Next time I see her, I need to make sure we talk.
time to get a little rest. I think we're all rested up. Yeah, we can't exactly take our time on this one. Togetsu could have sent people after you too. Be careful out there. I'll do what I can on my end to support you. Man, Haruka, you're great. I thought Yuito Platoon's Wataru was pretty good, but hey, you're not so bad yourself. Gotta hand it to our twins for all their support, right? Love ya! It would have been the perfect compliment if you didn't mention my brother, but thank you. Uh, you have no shame? What? Aren't you ashamed that you just can't pay anyone a compliment? If anyone should feel ashamed, it's you. Kyoka, Arashi, let's go. It seems like Kagero and Shiden want to mess around. Well, you heard her, Shiden. Want to mess around then? So what will it be? A fist fight? Power battle? A youngin' like you won't best me. Shut up! Don't make me part of your antics! Anyway, if we're going to talk to Seiron, where should we start? I suppose we should think about that before we head there. Yeah, we don't have any connections with the Seiron government. What about your influence with the press, Arashi? I'm good at using them to promote an image. But getting them to do what I want, when I want, is a different story. Moreover, we're talking about politics here. Getting people to believe us is not going to be an easy task. This is the type of information that would be better spread among the people as a rumor, than inform them once enough interest builds. An impressive analysis from a former spy. I... I know that's a compliment, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. Hmm? Hey, let's get back on topic. What about that official from before? The guy who asked us to assassinate Yuito? Hmm... We had that disagreement over Naomi. I doubt he'd be willing to hear us out after that. Karin might be able to get through to the Seiron government. Right, Major General Karin. It does seem like he could. He left in a hurry when we last saw him at the facility where they were keeping Naomi. I wonder where he is now. Wait! Something is happening at the Supernatural Life Research Facility! Good thing we decided to monitor it. They're starting to transport the other weapons! Transport? What do you mean? Their destination is Mizuhagawa. Naomi is included. What are they planning on doing with her? Probably nothing good, considering all the trouble they're going through. Did they leave some kind of plan behind? They need some reason to be doing this. Wait, it's mostly been redacted, but I found one. Oh, they have the name of the person in charge. No, it can't be! Tell us who it is already. The one trying to take the other weapons? It's Major General Fubuki! Fubuki? Why? There was always a possibility that he was somehow involved, considering the research facility is 